Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Zard here back at another video and today we're talking about Sneeko again, shocker, because Sneeko is once again for the millionth time doing the double C's, creeping and coping, which Sneeko is doing 24-7. He is always either creeping or he's coping. He's either being a creep or he's coping. Uh, and he's doing a bit of both today. He's actually doing both today. Um, and the thing that made me want to talk about Sneeko again is there's a bunch of little things that he said that's going kind of viral on Twitter. And then there's a little bit of a bigger thing. So I'm just going to stuff them all into this one video. Um, first things first, uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment, share, do all that good shit. Uh, it helps out the channel more than you know. We're almost at 800 subs where we do a predator catch. And I'm going to do the one chip challenge at 1,000. So make sure you guys subscribe. It helps out more than you know. And I'm not doing my face today. I already said it in my other video I just uploaded, but I'm going to say it again. Not showing my face in this video because I feel like shit. Um, that's why I didn't upload yesterday, and that's why I'm double uploading today. But I'm done yapping now. Let's get into this. So Sneeko called out Meat Canyon for not making a cartoon about Critical after Sneeko and Critical had their debate. And if you didn't know, Sneeko and Moist Critical had a debate where they it kind of went to shit. Sneeko was saying that 12-year-olds should be able to marry like full grown adults in that and charlie was saying that kids should be allowed to get gender swap surgery and be on hormones and all that shit so it's just a shit show on both sides it was like the worst debate i've ever seen and sneeko was just being super arrogant and douchey and criticals getting visibly very angry about the whole thing it was an actual shit show you guys should actually go watch it because it was pretty entertaining they both sound dumb uh, by the way before you critical fans come after me i am i am a fan of charlie i do love moist critical i watch all of his videos I just, he just, I, I would just be a, a retard to not admit that he looked dumb there. Like, he w was not making very many good points. But Sneeko made a video here that I'm going to play calling out me, Canyon, for not making a skit about uh, Charlie and Charlie for losing, lo quote unquote, losing the debate. And actually, before I play that, just in case you guys don't know about me, Canyon's content and the, the story behind this, um, They've, this is not the first time uh, Charlie and Sneeko have debated. They've debated before, and Meat Canyon made like kind of a cartoon making fun of Sneeko on it because Charlie definitely won that debate because he didn't say anything stupid like Sneeko. And here, I'll just play a short clip so you can get the idea of it. It kind of makes fun of how Sneeko's <laughs> a cuss and everything and how he's obnoxious. That little soy boy come up here and mess with me. You all know he ain't going to say anything to my face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What? Is that Charlie? The... Hey, yo, yo, baby, baby, what? hey, baby. What? Can you and your man take this into the other room, please? I, I can't <laughs> hear myself think with all that love making you're doing. Yeah, fine, Thank whatever. You so much, yeah, no problem. Yeah. No problem, Sneaky. No problem. It's, it's Sneeko. It's Sneeko. Yeah, so he made that video uh, making fun of Sneeko, and now Sneeko's like, why didn't I get, why didn't Charlie get a video too making fun of him? I'm, I'm coping and I'm angry. Hey, Meat Canyon. What happened to your video from this part of the beef, from this part of the, the drama, or whatever? I destroyed him in a debate. He retracted all his statements. The video got 9 million views, and you're not going to make a Me Candy cartoon. But when it's time to make fun of Sneeko, you. You didn't embarrass. I've, for, for the record, Sneeko, you did not embarrass Critical in the debate. You guys were both buck fucking embarrassing yourselves. You were fucking defending banging kids, and Critical was saying that they should get on hormones. You guys both looked like idiots. So don't even fucking start saying that you embarrassed him or you destroyed him. You didn't destroy shit. You both looked like fucking retards. You make three videos about me but you can't make fun of charlie why is that you say you don't have any sort of political point of view now you do if you're going to be consistent with your theme of comedy you would make a, a meat canyon cartoon on him very funny that you haven't yet hey meat canyon is he didn't make a cartoon because this that debate that they just had was very middle of the road both of you guys looked dumb both of you guys look stupid so there's not really a tar there wouldn't really be much of a target for the attack of the cartoon so it would just be him clowning on both of them, which he usually tries to have a target. He doesn't, as you can see, he's made multiple videos on people on both sides of the political agenda. He made some about XQC and shit. He's made videos on basically everyone. He clearly has no skin in the game. He just makes cartoons on beefs that are going on. So Sneeko just looks dumb trying to call him out. He just looks stupid. Because he, it's so obvious he has no skin in the game. That's why he didn't make a video, because it's very middle, like it's 50-50 split on who won that debate. So why would he make it when he has no skin? I, I just don't get it. As 
recently, Sneeko is just going viral on Twitter for more retardation because he posted this tweet right here. He retweeted this saying, how Twitter perceives age 17. It shows like a little kid. 18, it shows a full grown adult. And by the way, nobody actually thinks of Sneeko. Nobody's coming after you saying that people are like PDF files for being 18, dating a 17 year old. Nobody is saying that when they come after you. What they're saying is you're weird because you said that a 12 year old should be able to date a marry and bang a full grown adult if their parents consent that's the problem sneeko not the fact that some 18 year olds date 17 year olds nobody said that and someone kind of came in with a ratio here retweeting an old tweet from sneeko where japan uh a news article came out saying japan raises their age of consent from 13 to 16 and he said this is my personal 9 11. like bro like <sighs> like, dude, you're digging your own hole here. You can always try and defend yourself that you're not a PDF file and then say shit like this. And he was in Japan at the time of tweeting this, I'm pretty sure, by the way. So, bro, Sneeko's just so weird, bro. He is so weird. Like, like you know, PDF file jokes are all fine. Like, I, I'm, I'm an enthusiast of uh, calling someone a PDF file as a joke every once in a while or making a PDF file joke. But when you are actively making yourself look like a PDF file on the internet and constantly having to defend yourself, then this is not a good look. Even if this is a joke, it's weird, dude. And this is pretty old, but still fucking weird. And there's more people making fun of it. This is how Sneeko perceives age 14. It looks like a fully grown woman and then 18 is an old lady. But I, I think it's pretty funny. And then another shit that happened recently is this guy, this is, well, this isn't recent. This is just old. It's kind of coming back up with the Sneeko drama being made fun of, you know, shit like that. Sneeko posted a picture of the Confederate flag for who knows what reason. Someone responded with LeBron fucking in shock, you know, just hands over his head. And then Sneeko responds with a copy ass tweet. Abraham Lincoln didn't care about slaves. Civil War was about taxes. North was just as racist as the South. The Confederacy held the original American values of freedom, which is just wrong, by the way. If you guys have taken any history class, you know this is wrong. And then Juju responds with, Abraham Lincoln ain't watch his girlfriend get fucked in front of him, though. Which is just so fire. That shit is so fire. I love watching Sneeko get dunked on. I really... Dude, I just don't like Sneeko. He doesn't... I know I say this every time I make... A video about Sneeko, but I'm gonna say it again for the new viewers. Sneeko has no values. He doesn't believe in anything. He's just stupid, bro. Like he's openly like defended gay people in the past during his old content, and now he's super against gay people and trans people when he's openly defended them before in his old content. It just doesn't make any sense. And I'll tell you why, because he's a grifter. Sneeko just says what will get views, and right now on the internet, if you ta start talking red pill shit, you're gonna get fucking views. If you take the side of the right right now, you are going to get views and likes because right now because we just went through i think it was like 2020 to probably 2023 it was very popular to be a liberal and left-leaning and now it's becoming more popular to become right-leaning once again you know it's just kind of a shift of the internet and now that that's the grift going on sneeko's done with his right left-leaning content and he's just grifting off the right wing and now there's a war in fucking israel and palestine so he's taking the popular side which is palestine and becoming muslim and all that shit he's just a grifter he doesn't stand for any anything anytime he gets asked to defend his beliefs when he's debating someone who actually knows how to debate he either loses or he gets someone to defend him for him like an actual muslim who studied the quran and all that shit to talk for him because he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about he's just saying what's going to get him views and he knows that that's the whole fucking situation he is just a creep a weirdo and a grifter and i really don't know why people watch him i don't know how he gets viewers it doesn't make any sense because it's just so obvious that he's just grifting and doesn't give a fuck about anything he says. I'm on, I honestly believe most of his viewers are probably like 12 or some shit because they're just like on their Sigma grind set, you know, in middle school, you know, fucking trying to seem all dark and just, I don't even know, bro. Like, I actually don't know who the fuck watches this guy. It makes no sense to me. And the, he really only goes after Charlie because fucking he sees charlie as an easy target because charlie is not good at debating he likes conversations he's openly said that he's not a debate bro and i'm similar in that way where i i'm not good at debating like you debate me i, I don't, it doesn't matter what the topic is i'll more than likely lose you know i mean I, unless it's something i'm informed on then i'll probably win but like i'm not a good debater i'm the same way but yeah that's basically a wrap up on all the sneako talk right now i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe comment share do all that good shit, and I'll see y'all in the next one.